everybody and welcome to the Creative Corner. I am Ocean Reeve and joining me today is the wonderful Karen Clark, the author of From Bully to Brilliant. And we're outside today, we're actually at the Brisbane Exhibition Centre and we're going to tap into the process of bringing this book to life with Karen and also get inside her mind a bit and her soul when we talk about creativity. So Karen, welcome. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, that's good. That's How good. are you? I am busy but good and I'm so glad that we're hooked up here. It's, I love that tree. I love that tree too. I think it's great. What a good idea. I know, I know. Well, we're going to get to the, I already know, but the people watching this may not. We're going to, tell us, what is this book about? Okay, the book's about how to deal with bullies, about how to deal with bullying, how to deal with abusive or difficult people and how to manage yourself in the face of that. Now, it has been very successful and we're going to talk about that in a minute, but what I want to know is in the writing part of the journey and also in marketing, how many hours a day would you spend doing this? I think the better question would be how many hours I didn't spend doing it, really. Uh, every possible moment, every waking hour, given that I'm the mother of three and have a husband that travels. So uh, aside from the fact I need to eat and sleep and clean houses and look after children and work as well, um, every other moment. <laughs> including three o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning sometimes when I felt I was getting behind. What was the most intriguing or difficult chapter that you had to write in the book? Probably the chapter I wrote on expressive personality types and impressive personality types, which is the way I describe the relationship between a bully and a victim. Because it's my own understanding of human behavior. I was a bit embarrassed about writing it in the first place because it's, I didn't really have something to refer to and I wasn't certain how it was going to be um, perceived. So I felt uncomfortable about having to put something so new into the world. Um, I didn't want to be seen as foolish. I felt I was worried how people were going to see it, but as it turns out, um, it's, it's really one of the cornerstones of the book, so I'm glad I did. <laughs> okay, let's go down the success track now. What is, for you and for the book, what does a literary success look like to you? Uh, literary success to me is a, a global reach of my book. This book needs to be in the hands of everybody who needs it. That would be, that probably will be when I'll rest, let's put it that way. But at the moment, I'm really happy with the success that it has achieved, which is the response that it's had from people, the way it's affected people's lives, the way it has lit people up in the way I was hoping it was going to lit, light people up then. For me, that is success. It is already a success. I mean, it is wonderful to see your book in bookstores. It's wonderful to see it selling airports, all of that. But the real measure is it the feedback you're getting? Yes, it's absolutely the feedback that I'm getting. That is, that's, that's what's made it all worthwhile, is the response um, that I get from both media and uh, who, who do read the book as well, mm. which is nice, uh, and the people that have bought the book or have come in contact with the book in some way or another or have listened to me talk. The feedback is uh, so inspiring. It's so inspiring to be part of a process. I feel like I'm part of a process now whereby people are coming to a realization that there are ways that they can feel better. And that's magical. That's, that's a magical experience for an author. So I think that's why it doesn't get old. It doesn't get old because we're all looking for answers to problems. We're all looking so, for solutions. They don't go away. You don't stop wanting to feel better. You don't stop meeting people who've got conflict in their lives. It doesn't go away. Clearly, it doesn't go away. So when you've got somewhere in the world that you can go and you can find some tools, some resources, some strategies, some answers, that can't get old. That'll never get old. Marketing is something that happens organically in a lot of ways. That your belief and your passion for the project does 50% of your marketing. Strategy, action plans, and systems will lock down the rest. And this is what we've been talking about for some time now, is about the, how we develop that amongst the whirlwind that is from Bully to Brilliant. Because it has been a hell of a tornado. It and has. it's hard to tie it down and kind of go, okay, let's build some structure here. Um, but, but it's inevitable at some point that that, that is the, the next stage. I think that watching the tornado, tornado rip through the country like it has, uh, has been phenomenal. I've learned a lot. 
and I know you have, and I know Wayne has, and most importantly, I know the readers have, and I think you've just got to go with that passion for half of that marketing journey and just not feel that, that stress and that pressure as much as that a lot of authors can. I don't think I feel the pressure. I think I'm wonderfully Good. naive, to be honest. Even I, I, I am. <laughs> and I think it's that. I think I'm connected. Um, I said to someone the other day, it's a, it's a calling. This is more than me just writing a book. It's a calling. And it's coming from a very deep place inside of me that, that won't stop. So I won't stop and I don't lose confidence and I don't lose heart. I have my bad days, everyone has bad days, yes, but I just it. don't have that feeling. I have the feeling uh, and almost an urgent need to communicate the message that's in the book and the story that people can feel better about themselves. I won't stop and so therefore I don't worry. It, it's happening organically like you said. Superpowers. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Superpower. Well, I, I always used to want to fly. Right. That was my superpower. I used to think when I was at school and everyone made fun of me that I would one day fly into <laughs> school and they'd be so impressed it would all stop. But um, I still quite like the idea of flying. I think it yeah. might be nice, a nice way to get about. Nice, I like that, I like that. <laughs> okay, I have one final question. Where can people go and buy the book? They can buy the book from bookstores, and uh, online on my website at fromballytobrilliant.com and at any talk or presentation that I do. Karen, I want to thank you so much for joining me today on The Creative Corner. It's been excellent to be able to go over the publishing process with you again, tap into your creative mind and soul. It's been fantastic. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time on The Creative Corner.